do. I noticed that there was uh, like 12 or more people waiting in the live chat for it to start. Ah, okay. <laughs> Banner's just telling me that her video hasn't actually started yet. And this, like the beginning 30 seconds of the show, um, some of our viewers and lovely supporters uh, haven't got the YouTube premium, so they get hit with an advert straight away as soon as the live show starts. So we're just waiting. There we go for it to have uh, cleared up. And now I can see people are online, Banner's online. So hi there. Hi there, Car Carabean. Uh, hi there, uh, Devil Bean. Hi there, Linda. How are you doing? Hey, KK, my number one fan. Hello. Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome to the Joy of Pouring with me, your host, Cy Frost. And I'm the first station in the Sunday Critic Crazy Train of uh, premieres. Uh, let's just do the introductions first. Let's go through the timetable. It's pretty much the same as last week, I do believe. It starts here. And then after myself, we go to the UK for Taslima Maya Art. And then after Taslima, we go to Australia for Venom Fluid Art. And after Australia and Venom, we go to uh, North America for uh, my lovely number one fan, Creations by Christy. And then after Christy, we are going back over to Florida, staying in North America. Going to uh, Shambi from Shambi uh, Fluid Art. And after Shambi, we've got the lovely Bubbles. And I think this is going to be your fourth live premiere now. They're just stacking up real quick, aren't they, Bubbles? And uh, the caboose on the train today, as he was last week, it's Tony, the hippy-dippy painter man. So those are the introductions for the timetable. Now, let's do some introductions for people that are not in the timetable. Obviously, my lovely assistant, darling wife, Vanna, of course. Let's give Vanna a shout out. But also, let's first of all, just give a shout out to B and also Bubbles and anybody. It seems that everybody's really suffering right now with either condition uh, continuing ailments or you know conditions that they're having to bear with so I know B uh, got a flu shot and it's just completely wiped her out it's like it gave her the terrible flu she's been sorely missed in the group the acrylic crazy train if you don't know what that is please check it out in the descriptions of this video the acrylic crazy train it's our online group of which B is one of the admins there uh, and she's been absent for a good while because this flu has just knocked this hell out of her let's say but also to bubbles and big shout out to anybody else that's really suffering right now with um with you know medical issues it's really awful and especially to those that can't get the medicinal help that they need because of their country's ridiculous laws well that's enough politics uh the other people i'd love to give a shout out to is uh if they're there maybe in the live chat uh, there are other moderators there'll be brit in there hi brit how you doing from brit clayton design uh also maybe there'll be Sheldon there from Shell Rock Arts. I know Lance is away on holiday, still enjoying that beautiful Costa Rica view. We can't blame him, so he's still there. But uh, that's it. A huge shout out to anybody that I've missed or forgotten. Big shout out to all of our OG beans, our original gangster beans. You know who you are. Thank you very much for your love and support. Okay, chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat, waffle. Three minutes 22. I'm getting new better and so new good. record, man. New record. There we go. I'm feeling though that I've missed something. Hang on a second. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, of course. Um, please, guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe to the channel and you uh, become part of uh, the YouTube um, uh, premiere system, you get to interact in the live chats that everyone is having such a huge, I can see these chats are just flying up on the side here. Everyone has such a great time in them. And um, when you subscribe, yes, you can interact in the live chats. Uh, you can also ask questions and things like that in the live chat. And if you are in the live chat right now and you want to support me uh, and the channel and everything and banner, uh, there is a little dollar sign in the bottom right of the uh, place, little box that you type your message in and press send in the live chat. If you click on that, that will take you through to Super Stickers and Super Chat. It's just a little denomination, different denominations of stickers that you can click on the sticker and write little messages in and then send. And it has uh, various values up to, up to uh, quite a lot, but down to the more smaller ones as well that everybody can afford. If you'd like to do that, we greatly appreciate it. And we have Vanna and everybody in the live chat. The other moderators are also speaking for me because I'm presenting the show and I can't type on my phone while I'm using it. Thank you. Vanna just said smash the thumbs up button. This is really important, guys, because one second. The more likes, 
and thumbs up on my videos get, the more likely they are for YouTube to suggest them to people that aren't subscribed to me as it is in the first place. And it's a great way to really support me. Oh, bless you. Jan Bean, thank you, sweetheart. That's ever so OG boss. I love it. I'm sorry, it just disappeared. Uh, and that's the other way to, uh, uh, the other reason for sending stickers, your little message gets highlighted. And if you've got a burning question that, you know, you really want answered, it's a great way to get the uh, question highlighted and more attention and uh, get answered by myself or more than the fantastic brains and everybody that are in the live chat. Hardly any questions get my way now. Not that I'm crying about it, but it just means that everybody in the live chat are doing such an amazing job. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support and thank you for your love. It means means the world to Vanna and I and thank you from the bottom of our hearts so there we go that's it I think I did do anything oh yes and when you do subscribe ring that little bell that if you click on the bell to make the bell solid that means notifications are on and every time I release a new video on Wednesday or one on uh, the live shows you'll get notified about it so you don't miss anything so okay there we go uh, six minutes a little more off the mark but I really raced through the beginning bits thinking that I had got everything and then there's a more little uh, notes on my a couple more little notes on my pad <laughs> anyway so that's that fantastic let's get on with some show and tell this is mama's swiped left and right little um sofa arm table i was a bit worried it really bowed like significantly so i've had to leave it for the entire week to dry and as you can see it's straightened out a little bit it's ever so slightly you know not flat and for a table you really want a flat table so um i'm not sure what we're going to do this will be a uh, you know another project in the making but there was a uh, show and tell the results from last week it will probably level out with a flood layer of um, resin it might level out with a flood layer of resin absolutely oh nelvia hi there nelvia thank you so much for sending that sticker bless your heart uh, and here's the show and tell results of that quick little swipe we did in the last 10 minutes and as you can see she um she came out okay <laughs> because it was on a pretty fresh canvas. She dried super quick and I was able to get a coat of resin on her. So she came out absolutely beautifully. And uh, the resin is flawless, which is a miracle for having uh, Mew in the house, our little feline friend. Um, it's, it's quite a miracle, but there you go. There's the show and tell from the one we did last week. And I'll give you a sneak, a little preview. Here's the show and tell for, because after I did that on the fly, I had to like, right, okay, then let's mean it and do it. And this is how it came out. So bingo, again, it dried as well nicely. So I've got a layer of resin on it, but this will be the free lesson Wednesday uh, in a few days that will come up on the channel at the usual time of 2 p.m. So that's the show and tells. So today we are doing, hang on. Just wanted to put them somewhere safe where the cat wouldn't get them or anything like that. Uh, today we are doing kitchen sink pours and we're doing them with all the uh, colours that I had left over from doing uh, those swipes right there and a couple of others. So we have got here uh, ore from um, this little piggy. We have aquamarine by De uh, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics, I think it's called. And then this one, this one, this one is Hustle by this little piggy. And then we've got some light phthalo blue by Golden. And then we have some, this is the fluorescent uh, violet by Liquitex. And then we have my favorite, some twinkle right there. And then we have what was left of the um, sample uh, piggy that I got last week, the waterfall. Hi there, Puss, where are you, buddy? There he is, just coming in. Uh, but we'll get the camera pointing down and I'll show you consistencies and everything. And we'll get on with the show. This is what we're pouring over. Now, don't scream and cry. It was from many years ago, well, not many years ago, but a good many, many months ago, um, when I was trying to still bloom with um, polycrylic and it wasn't really working for me. <laughs> and you can see, um, yeah, you, know, you see, it, it was just making the top layer dry much faster than the bottom. And I put it in a uh, in one of the wardrobes and forgotten about it. So we are going to do a kitchen sink pour and we're gonna drizzle the colors, put a pillow down, drizzle all the colors all the way over the canvas. And then we're gonna swipe using a paper towel. Yes, a paper towel, craziness, isn't it? I mean, what's going on? But 
Let me just have another drink. Great. So, uh, let me just line this up on the on the spinner a little bit better. Oh, I predict paint on the floor today. <laughs> I have got. We've got paint. Uh, we, yes, we have taken precautions for paint on the floor, and there is the uh, dust sheet just there on the other side of the table. But there we go. This we're going to go with let's get a bit closer in da, da, da. excellent i think that's a pretty good view isn't there it you go. thank you vanna vanna's just showing me that the shot is nice and it's kind of you know lit well and in focus let's just tap it to make sure oh keep putting my hands in front of the camera don't have there we go so let's just crack some of these babies open and I will show you the consistency of them. This would be, you know, I'm going to use this for, use these for a bloom or a swipe. But there we go, friends. See, it still drizzles really nice. These are from last week and it's beautiful. Drizzles really nicely, stays up for about a second before it just disappears back in on itself. So we're going to go in the, oops, we're going to go in this order, in the order of the um, most amount of paints, okay? So we've got the waterfall first, and then the um, uh, twinkle, then the fluorescent violet, as you can see, there's quite a lot there. And then to break up the violet and the hustle there, we've got this fantastic, the phthalo blue. And then after the hustle right here, see we're getting less and less. We've got a kind of, more, well, maybe about half ounce of the teal in there or aquamarine rather. And then we've got a little bit, maybe about half an ounce as well of the gold in there too. So we're going to be very liberal with these and sprinkling with these, and then just swipe across the whole cradle. It's a eight by 24 inch cradle, if anyone is wondering. And yes, we're gonna swipe with a uh, paper towel, and I'm gonna explain why when we do that, but let's just get all these little pots open. Dun, 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 dun. So we can really start flinging painting around. Excellent. Great. And the pillow I'm going to put down, it's this one, uh, the um, uh, Anchors Away by, uh, by Sherwin Williams. And uh, the issue we have, right, guys, with uh, spinning these, especially these uh, uh, gallery, uh, sorry, these uh, deep edge cradles, uh, when you spin a rectangle like this, central fugal force dictates there'll be far more force here moving the paint down this way than actually moving the paint this way. So this is why the precautions are down with the uh, extra uh, dust sheet <laughs> or, um, yeah, uh, drop cloth, as it is known in North America. But yeah, so we are going to put a decent pillow of this down. <gasps> anchors away, I love anchors away. Yeah, anchors away is great. Matches my outfit. Oh, it does match my outfit actually, Vanna. Yeah, I just noticed that, fantastic. Okay, so we are going to just pick this up and give it a bit of a move around so we can get an even coat on everything. Nice, because it's really easy to put too much pillow down on this one, on these uh, triangles. Uh, it's easy for me to get, get it wrong and put way too much pillow down on these very rectangular canvases. But I have had some great success with them from time to time. And uh, I'll get Vanna to um, remind me at the end of the show to actually, there we go. Get Vanna to remind you, me to show you the piece, uh, a piece I did on here. What was that? The one at the top of the stairs? Yes. <laughs> my that, ultimate favorite piece ever. Would you like to go and get it, Vanna? And we will do show and tell at the end. This is one of Vanna's favorite pieces of mine. It is Vanna's favorite piece. Oh, it is Vanna's favorite piece. Not her ever. It's, uh, it, it got put on the wall, so I was like, oh wow, she really does like it but it was where I was just experimenting on this huge canvas that I, oh, well, it's not huge, but it was four feet. It is four feet by one foot. So it's like 48 inches by 12. And um, 
it came out rather amazing. I was trying to do blooms all the way over it and it didn't work at all. So what I actually did was um, literally just squeezed a whole load of um, um, the iridescent cell activator that I had made at the time. Uh, and with that, it was just literally the um, Rust-Oleum iridescent accents. That lovely kind of multicolored, very fine glitter in the paint. And it looked absolutely fantastic. So let's try and kind of, kind have, of, kind of, let's kind of try to replicate that one. Excellent, bingo, bingo, bingo. So let's use a lot of the ones we have the most. And we're gonna swipe from, yes, this way. So here we go, I'm going to just <laughs> Literally, I'm just going to spread it out, guys, as far as I can across the whole kind of canvas from left to right. Excellent. Brilliant. So that's the waterfall. Hi, person, no, I don't sniff that little buddy. <laughs> so that's the waterfall going down. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put a bit of the fluorescent violet down. Oops. Hold the little stir stick out of the way. Going to start kind of about there and now start to get a little bit heavier. <laughs> Mew is deciding he needs to be on the table now and he's missing his limelight. Oh, <laughs> again. <laughs> this isn't the first time, guys, that I've dropped something right in <laughs> the swipe zone, let's call it. Pretty good job that we're going to be uh, swiping over all of this anyway, so it's not really going to matter that much. But. Let's just get the rest of it out and let's just keep a hold of the stir stick this time. Bingo, that's good enough. Excellent, so that's the uh, fluorescent uh, violet just down there. So now let's start putting down my favorite. Beautiful little twinkle. So twinkle is an interference pigment by this little piggy. And by interference, it means it's transparent. So when it dries, you can see through it. It doesn't dry this light milky color, but it has mica in it and it's uh, dyed. And when you see it one way, it makes one color and you see it the other way, it makes another color. And the twinkle is lovely because one way it is this gorgeous interference blue shimmer and then the other way, it is this fantastic violet shimmer. So now I'm just going to start putting some of the phthalo down and just a little bit up into the toes. And remember guys, because I'm swiping here uh, from what you're looking at, from your right to left, I will swipe. Uh, but obviously for me, it's reversed. And the plan is to load this side up with the colors the most because as we get down to this side, it's going to drag them over really nicely. In fact, I could actually just, just cheat a little bit and tip them all this way a bit. There we go. Actually, no, I don't need to because I've got a nice little gap there for the cell activators that we're going to pour down on top of it. So let's just do a little bit of that in there. And now, here we go. 37 beans in the chat. 37 beans in the chat. Hide their beans. Oh, jelly beans, you rock. There's a lot of jelly beans with headaches today. It must be a weird barometric pressure day. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yes, well, there you go. Shout out to you for suffering with migraines and headaches. One second, guys. Just need another drink. Okay. Now we're doing the... 
aquamarine, just a little bit up in here. Here we go. In true kitchen sink style fashion pour, blah, blah, blah. Just throwing everything at it. And now it's the ore. Now let's just get a little bit of the ore up in the top. And then, yes, there we go. Excellent. Done. Well, we're only 20 minutes in, according to the kitchen <laughs> clock. So we're doing really well, guys. I'm going to have to come up with something else for the last little bit, aren't I? Or maybe we could just do some more if I could find some more old paint. And do I have some? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I'm going to get a strip of... Uh, kitchen towel. Now the trick I've found is to spray it with some water so we just missed the side we're going to use as a site. And the great thing about the paper is it's super light. When we use a tool we can add pressure and change the outcome. With this, as long as you get just the lip touching, it's super light so it just literally drags everything over itself and gives us some fantastic cells without actually kind of pushing it down and losing too much. Uh, even though we're going to lose some when we spin it out. But anyway, blah, 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 chitty chat, chitty chat. I hope that made sense, guys. So there we go, just the light misting. That's all we need. And now let's put the cell activators down. I'm going to put, uh, we've got a load of the, um, the fantastic Rust-Oleum gold. So I'm just literally going to pour all of that just there and then down. And we're everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we're using all that. And then I'm using the Rust-Oleum Fantastic uh, Iridescent Glitter. I right, just put some of this all the way down and I load up at this end. There we go, beautiful. Hey, the little puss, he's running around. Okay, saying I'm on the table, I'm on the table. <laughs> okay, so we just... Gently let the lip grab here, guys. And now we're just gonna drag it all the way over. <laughs> Very quiet right now because- Concentrating. Concentrating, trying to keep this as straight as I can do. Okie dokie, there we go. <laughs> well, most of the cell activator stayed up this end, but that's okay. What we're looking for is some beautiful, lovely sparklies all the way down here. And as I am looking here, I can see some sparklies. Just gonna give it a quick torch because it's got a few bubbles in it. There we go. So, Vanna, what do we think? Does it look pretty? <laughs> yes. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Excuse me, can I? Oh, yeah, sorry. Excellent. Right. So now we're going to have some fun spinning this one. Or I might just literally just tilt it instead because... Um, spin it slowly. Yeah, spin it slowly. Spin it slowly. Vanna's always right. Usually always right. Nelvia calls dibs. Tess Lima says you can do a reverse wipe the other way with more cell activator if you're not happy with it. Oh yeah, this is quite true. Um, but I used all the gold, so we're gonna have to throw another one in and do it this way. But um, I'm really liking what's going on at the top here. So let's give it a spin. And if not, if, if it's not very pretty, we can scrape it and we can start again, can't we? Because that's what it's all about. Anyway, let me just get some paint on these edges. See, they're a little bit wet. Da, 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 da. 
because what do wet, uh, what does paint like? Paint likes the wet edges to flow over. But yes, I'm not looking for uh, great coverage over the edges of this deep edge. Yeah, I shall more than likely just uh, tape it up and then um, tape it up and paint the edges black after I, I have resined it. Okay, here we go. As slowly kind of thing as we can, getting everything out of the way because last week, literally, it went flying. <laughs> Let's just see how it's moving. It's moving nicely. Yeah. Oh, I can see a little goober right in the middle there. Let's get that little guy out. Oh. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Excellent. Always good to get the little lumps and goop out before we spin because the spin can help get rid of them. Okay, nice and gently, guys. <laughs> stand back. Stand back, everybody. Stand back. Stand clear. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Sorry. I've just got to... We have, we, we have paint on floor. <laughs> Let me get the worst up ladder. There you go. Thank you, darling. Yeah, as I said, you know, the centrifugal force of spinning something of this size, the paint comes off the ends far quicker and further than it does on the sides. So hang on. Oh, you can see, yeah, look, all of, <laughs> there we go. We've got some splatter. Oh, did it hit the kitchen? Did it hit the... Well, I'm it... just wiping everything down, kids. Yeah, just in case. Because <laughs> paint went a-flying. It's in places. Oh, I love it. I like it very much. So I hope that's a good picture, guys, and it's in focus nicely. Let me just touch the screen to make sure it is. I think it's very pretty. Here we go. Let's go up and have a flyover. There we go. And I love the little sparkles and everything that we've got all the way down and through. I would say that's a bit of a win, but you've got no comparison yet. So let me just um, wipe a bit of this paint up. There we go. Should have put a drop cloth on both sides. Yeah, that might have been a good idea, but then it just would have gone all over me. And you know how I like to, you know. It's easy to clean up. <laughs> It's only paint. It's only paint, and it's only craft acrylic, you know. That's what craft acrylic was actually created for, because it mimics uh, oil paints. But oil paints are far more expensive and far more difficult to use because they are oil. So this is why acrylic paint even exists, is because they needed a more affordable alternative for kids in schools and art classes and things like that. And hey presto, the uh, acrylic paint was born to mimic. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Yeah, let me get these. Yeah. <laughs> Vanna just looked at me and she's like, yeah, oh no. So yeah, I think it's quite pretty, guys. I've got some nice little cells in the middle there that are just popping up because of those dastardly little bubbles. When your hands get clean, you should move the camera a little closer. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. How about that close? It hasn't moved yet, I'm a little <laughs> There we go. That's better. There we go, my friends. So let's just go from right to left, or my left to right. There's the top where we had the cell activator that we didn't seem to really need because it just... I love these little cells here are really pretty. And then we've just got this lovely, lovely separated stripes of colours with some kind of cells in them. This is reminding me, giving me, um, giving me the uh, storm on uh, Jupiter very, very much. Obviously different and much more attractive colors than Jupiter. But um, yeah, there we go. Let's get him a bit closer all the way to the right. So I have just got to clean myself up a little bit more first. Will you clean oh, thank you, Vanna. And clean up the work area. Because 
stuff went a flying. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to need to spin this one again just because of the amount of paint that came off and went everywhere the first time. We've got nice, we've got almost great coverage to the edge. I'm just going to help it along a little bit so we've got an even, even coat of paint. There we go. Nelvia wants it, she calls dibs. <laughs> oh, Nelvia, you, you liking this one, Nelvia? Bless your heart, thank you, Ty. <laughs> I call dibs. Well, you know, that, ha that has happened here in the past, and when someone calls dibs or really, really uh, wants a piece that they've seen me make, um, the universe usually ends up somehow of making sure you guys get it. Um, a big shout out to Rainbow Bean um, uh, and, uh, and also Bella Bean and Lucky Bean and um, Precious Bean. Haven't seen Milagross uh, for a while now. Um, but yeah, big shout out to you guys, all of our lovely OG beans. And huge apologies for any that I have forgotten. Please, if you're in the live chat, make yourselves known right now and I shall correct that problem and make sure you get a shout out too. So I'm just going to pick this one up. There we go. I'm just going to... Vanna, could you? Yes, I know. Sorry, darling. <laughs> there we go. It shouldn't drip on you if you get those two edges. Do you want me to move this or do yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, darling. Right, okay. So we're back. Just wiping the edges of this because if we don't wipe the edges and the paint continues to move, you, to you can find, no, 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 not yet. Okay. You can possibly find that, um, yes, you'll come back to your painting half on the table where it was trying to dry. And it's very important to have everything level. But so let me just bing, bing, bing. There we go. Excellent, so I can see it a little bit better. There we go. So I think it came out very pretty. For a kitchen sink pour, we had some fabulous colours to work with, to be honest. But yes, I think it's rather, rather striking. Here we go. So when Vanna's just washed her hands, I will relinquish this to her. I'm just touching the edges. Yeah, you got some pretty thick drips there on that edge if you want to smoosh them. There we go. Thank you, darling. Excellent. Oh, bless her, she's given me a new rag. Excellent. So while I am just doing this, I'm gonna sing you a song. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna sing you a song. Um, oh yes, a few other OG beans that I have forgotten to mention, of course. Uh, Shan B, uh, Shan Bean, bless her heart. Also Devil Bean and Charm Bean. And um, let me try and think, there's been so many. Uh, shout out to Kat and Tony. And any... Oh, yeah, of course. Well, yeah, they're the OG beans. <laughs> uh, Lamb bean and Jan bean, of course. Those two darlings. But well, everybody else, a huge shout out to you for thank you for joining me and for making this little show as fun as it is and can be. And uh, it's done that. It's done by these fantastic moderators that are in the live chat right now. A uh, huge thank you to you guys for being there and supporting me and uh, being part of this fantastic... Um, uh, Sunday afternoon entertainment of <laughs> live acrylic pouring premieres. Just waffling on a little bit right now, but, oh, one second. Bingo, done, we're clean. Up a little bit. Oh, Nelvia, thank you so much, darling. That's lovely, the little laughing fox sticker. Oh, dear. So, I'm, oh, damn, I'm trying to look. As soon as the little messages come up, they, uh, oh, they disappear pretty quick because of my phone and using the phone to do the filming. Yes, Nelvia, thank you. Thank you so much, Nelvia. Uh, Vanna would have thanked you as well, but she's just uh, cleaning up uh, her hands from taking that um, piece out. And the spinner. 
Oh, yes, and the spinner. Oh, darling, she's cleaned the spinner too, bless her heart. I figured so, you want to use it again, so. Yeah. Exactly. So here's the show and tell, my friends. This is the piece. You're going to have to get in close. Yeah, I mean, it's four feet by one foot. And you can see, um, this is where Nirvana was actually resining stuff for me, bless her. But let's go in. Um, here we go, I suppose, like this. It started at this end. I'd done like maybe about 10 or 12 little blooms all over it and they just weren't looking very good. So I just squeezed a ton of the um, iridescent, uh, iridescent um, um, paint from Rust-Oleum, the iridescent accents, and just dragged it all the way down and through. But you can see how the colors just dragged over each other. And now I can't see to keep it nice and straight to you guys on the camera, but we're just moving the four feet in the other direction that this swipe went. And we had so much lovely definition all the way down, right to the end. And I'm trying to see it. There we are, bingo. So obviously that would have been nice to recreate something as nice as that. But you know, when serendipity smiles on your acrylic fluing, acrylic fluid loving butt and you get a result like this, um, it's hard to recreate, but uh, there we go. That's the one um, that Vanna, well, how much did you say you wanted for this one to let it go off the wall? It's not for sale. Oh, not for sale. Not for sale. Mm -mm -mm. No, it's not. Okay, guys. So, well, look at this 136. That's pretty amazing. Now, do I have any paint mixed up and left over? I do know. If I go right down into the bottom of my little paint kit here, I have got these really old, really old, he says, um, pigments I must have mixed up maybe a month ago or so, or more than that. And um, they've just been sitting in the bottom. Um, this is, oh dear, I couldn't tell you. One of them is cinnamon, and the other one is caramel drizzle. There we go from TLP. Wow, these are just ping coming to me. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is... I'm pretty sure this one is um, brulee, the interference kind of copper color. So we've got these three little ones that we could play about with and do something with. Or what we could actually do, excellent. Let's get the camera pointed down and close to these ones because they've been in there for so long. I am sure they are not going to be, you know, in a very good usable state. So what we could do right here is I will show you Right in front of you, how I um, rejuvenate the paints, let's say, and what I do with them. Uh, so when they've got this old and this thick, let's just get it down a little bit more. Da, 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 da. There we go. Excellent. When they're this old and this thick, um, it's because a lot of the uh, water has uh, kind of separated out of it. So here we go. This is... Yeah, they're a bit too goopy goopy, but not too far off, to be honest, you know? And I'm stirring these slowly and carefully because we don't want to stir a load of air into these because we don't like bubbles in our fluid artwork. But there you go. Yeah, it's just a little too thick. So when we're talking about um, rejuvenating this, there might be maybe about 15 or 20 milliliters in here. So about three quarters of an ounce, just under an ounce of paint. Literally all I've got here is just water in a little squeezy bottle. Thank you for whoever was giving me the tip about the squeezy bottle to do the water. Um, and all we're gonna need in there literally is like maybe four drops. Two, three, four, oh, let's do a couple more. Five, six because any more in a very small amount of paint like this will really thin it out too much. And when we add just a little bit of water, it rejuvenates the paint and it's excellent. If we add a little too much water, what happens with the water in the paint is the water isn't like Floetrol and extending the paint. It actually breaks the bonds of the paint down. That's what actually makes it thinner and thinner. Well, so there we go. It's still a little bit thick, so yeah, I'm gonna put a few more drops in, another three, four, five. So here we go, we put 10 drops in just under an ounce of paint. 
And it's really, I can feel it now, really uh, allowing the paint to move more freely. Now, when we're doing this, got to make sure to not scrape the edges of the pot because there are dried paint all around the edge and we don't want the dried paint skins in our, in our fluid art either. But there we go. It feels, it has far less resistance with a stirring stick. Here we go. Excellent. That's a little more usable. Now let's have a look at these, because these have got maybe about an ounce to an ounce, a half, in a, ounce and a half. Uh, it's about 30 mil or so, and there is 29 point something, one in a milliliter, uh, 29 milliliters in an ounce. Right, see, so this one is a uh, very uh, gloopy, gloopy, gloopy. So I'm gonna go straight in with a good 10 drops of water. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this is just gonna loosen it for a second and it's going to thicken up again for us. Because remember guys, for the bloom and the swipe technique, we want it to drizzle off nicely. That's the consistency we kind of want. It's drizzling a lot nicer, but it's still feeling you go, another six drops of water. Still feels like the paint is um, pretty, uh, it has resistance to the stir stick. It's not, not stirring easily yet. This has now, yes, I can feel it. It just has that looser feeling. And bingo. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's just do this to the last one. Let's just mix it up. You see where it's kind of separated a little bit, guys? So we just want to mix that up and in. I think this one is the cinnamon and the other one is the caramel drizzle. But let me just show you the cinnamon. It drizzles not too bad, but it's still got some resistance to it. So there we go. Easily a dozen drips I was just putting in there because, you know, Watching me, watching me rejuvenate the paint can be interesting and, and can be uh, educational for you guys, but having to do it, thank God we've only got three because, you know, it's, it can be boring just watching me mix paint up. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to put another one, two, there we go. Easy. Five or six went in there and I can feel it just loosen up and give a little easier to the stirring stick. And bingo, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Excellent, fantastic. Is everybody having a good time in the chat? I almost feel like I need to have a little radio on in the background or something. <laughs> One second guys, just need to have a drink. <clears throat> okay, so those are the paints rejuvenated. Now, we've got to pick a cell activator that I've already got mixed up because again you don't want to watch me mix up cell activator because that could be a little bit boring too. We have got um, bright lurid pink uh, cell activator, we have got the uh, teal turquoise cell activator, we've got some white, we've got some uh, permanent blue violet so dark purple cell activator and we've got all oh, just a little bit of the um, Permanent red violet uh, cell activator as well. So which one do you think we're going to put with the... I figure if we use a white pillow, the white cell activator, of course, right? But, um, you know, I'm hoping this last one is going to be good and not a god-awful mess again. <laughs> so let's just use... Uh, let's... Wait a second, I'm just doing it straight on the fly now. Bing, bing. Let's use these two pink cell activators. And we'll do a swipe on this little. Permanent blue violet has been requested for the cell activator. Permanent, the permanent blue violet. Excellent. Okay, so this one. Jan Bean. Jan Bean. Okay. Jan, Jan, Bean. Jan Bean. You want you want the permanent blue violet. Brilliant. We'll use some of that. And then, okay, for a great contrast, let's use the permanent blue violet. And this one is the 
permanent red violet. There we go, permanent red violet and then the permanent blue violet. We'll use those two on these browns. <laughs> oh, this might work, this might be good, or it might not, but we never know. So you're never gonna know unless you give it a try, right, friends? So let's just line this up with this handy little spinner top that I got from our friends at the Fluid Art Co. Had something to do with its design and the idea of the lines so you can center your pieces nice and easily. Um, I tell you what, for a nice twist, let's use the kimono violet, yeah. the kimono violet pillow. Wow, so here we go. Oh. Now that you're all loaded up with color to go. Yeah, loaded up, yes. Vanna, went, went, Vanna was sent out and Vanna came back with lots of color to go. So it was fantastic. And they were all very like, oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes, Sean, yes, yes. Designer Sean, of course. Oh, I am. Yeah. Lie. We are designers. You know, we design many color schemes and many people's houses. But we also work with a lot of designers too. But yes, I guess they just didn't like, they didn't like me coming in. They were way more happier. And who could blame them with Vanna coming in to see them for the paint? <laughs> okay, guys, so just tips it out there to the edges and just going to smoosh it out just to the edge of the cradle because we don't want to get that little ring of dry paint that can sometimes show itself after the piece is dried. And obviously, you know, oh, that's not very good. We don't want that. Excellent. One minute, guys, sorry. So what kind of swipe should we do? We had great luck with um, the whoosh, whoosh, last week, didn't we? So let's do that. Did you like the sound effect? Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. There we go. So let's give these paints a tap. Or well, these pigments rather a tap. 147. 147, excellent. And we want to leave just a little bit early so you guys can go and have a quick snack break visit the, the, the bar car, <laughs> or oh, whatever is tickling your fancy on this gorgeous, lovely Sunday afternoon. It's so beautiful and sunny here in the mountain. We woke up to gorgeous blue sky and um, lots of people in the ski lineup, so we haven't been skiing <laughs> because you know, we find it, we, we enjoy midweek skiing a lot more because there's far less people, of course. So there you go, that was the uh, cinnamon. Now I'm putting down the interference, uh, the um, uh, brulee, interference kind of copper, orange. Let's get a bit more down this end. Da, 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 da. See, I really feel if we'd had more of that gold cell activator, the rust -Oleum gold mine, this would have looked absolutely cracking. But we're gonna see what it looks like with the permanent blue and the permanent red. So let's just get a nice little da, da, da. And this one is the cinnamon, I believe this one's called. So we've got a lovely, we've got a lovely complementary color palette here with that kimono violet on the bottom here. And then these lovely, lovely tri colors here that are just really going together with each other beautifully. So I haven't cracked these for a while either guys. So you're gonna have to uh, bear with me. Why don't I just give them a bit of a stir up? Oh, they're still loose, that's good. And again, sometimes if you think your cell activator's just, you know, been sitting in a pot like this and gotten a little thick, again, just a couple of drips of the Australian flow troll in to rejuvenate it as such. And uh, it all is great. So let's just see how this one is. Permanent blue. Excellent, right, okay, so we're going to Swipe this way and swipe that way. Um, I'm going to do a mix of both of them both ways. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Vanna likes the sound of that, so we're just going to put a little bit of this one down. And now we're just going to da, 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 pat it out. I don't use tons of cell activator, guys, because I found if I do, it can sometimes warp and make the... Uh, Make the piece not very nice. Look at how I'm shaking. Nerves. 
I don't know. You would have thought I would have got over the pre-show jitters and the nerves after show 34, but no, I don't. So there we go. Da, 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 da. Excellent. Oh, wow. I always love the cells. You end up getting and wiping off the tool. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. <laughs> it did. <Yeah. laughs> so it was kind of like you wiped the tool and you're like, oh no, what happened? Oh great, crazy, there we go. We like that one. So I put a little more of the um, permanent blue on that one than the uh, permanent red. Pink on the other side. And I'm gonna put more pink on the other side. So on that side, I put the blue down first. And on this side, I'm putting the pink down first with a swipe of blue. And there you go, guys. Just a nice little thin, thin spread. And then I just get this one and then just... Da, 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 da. Tap, 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 and let's go this way. Thank you, Janet. There we go. Oh, did someone send another sticker? Janet Lambert. Oh, Lambine, thank you so much, darling. Bless your heart. And a happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday to everybody, whether you've sent a sticker or not. Thank you so much. Oh, I like this side. Why didn't I do that side like that? Oh, with the pink. Listen to me, gushing over a pink cell activator. But when you get really bitten by this, this art form, you get bitten and you get bitten strong. I'm really preferring this side than the other side, totally. Yes, oh wow. Let me just get this up. There we go. That side I am loving. Where I put the pink first, then the purple on top. That side with the purple, then the pink. It worked nicely. You see that little bit there where the pink is haloing those cells? It's pretty. It's nice. So let's just do a little whoop de whoop whoop. There we go here. And a whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop there. Oh, and let's just do another whoop de there. Excellent just to kind of join up the two sides. Now we're just going to, yes, quickly just wet those edges because the paint doesn't like trying to spread over a dry edge. Excellent. So there we go, my friends. Well, let's give her a spin. Oh, yay. Yeah, I always say you can't uh, judge it until you've spun it out. I think that actually works really quite well on that um, kimono violet pillow. Ah, well, there you go, craziness. Let's just stop it for a second. Give it a little bit of a torch because there were lots of bubbles in there. We're going to mix those paints up quick. But I hope you guys got something out of that there where you saw how I do mix the paints up and how to, you know, get them moving again if they're a little bit old. Excellent. So let's just, there it is. Just pick this up. Da, 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 da. And let's just quickly wipe the edges. Vanna, could you take the spinner away from me, please, my darling? Of course. Thank you, sweetheart. Awesome. So we are just coming back up here. There we go. And I'm just wiping the edges of this. Oh, that's very pretty. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I like pink and orange together, you know me. Yes, exactly, right? So there you go, my friends. Bingo. Does it need another spin? I just took it. No. See, this is it. I really love it when you get the excess off in one spin. Because it really isn't moving at all much. So you get the excess off in one spin. And then you get this fantastic, lovely piece of art. Look, I love how the um, purple cell activator has given us these lovely jelly beans here. And, but then the pink on this side is just pretty, like, spectacular. Oh, but there you go. What's the time at, Vanna? 1.54. 1.54, bingo. So there we go. Let me just wipe the edges of this again. Da, 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 da. And then I'll give it to the lovely darling Vanna that can go and put it in the drying room. Thank you, my dear. 
What a pretty little piece. Again, just throwing them out, <laughs> using, uh, if you were just to have thrown out those paints, it's just such a shame because as you can see, you know, we got a nice little pretty piece out of it. So I hope you're enjoying the last part of the little kind of, you know, winging it part of the show. You always make such pretty pieces when you just like have time to kill and you're just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> just throw stuff at it. Which is look at the peacock one last week. Exactly. Was, like, stunning. I mean, I'm like Vanna will not let this one go. You would have to offer me a lot of money for this one to let this one go because Dips. it's just come out so beautiful with the coat of resin, just giving everything back to us, just serving these beautiful colours. And the, all these dark spots are actually um, pompous, the stuck-up pig. So they change. It's really hard to get it to pick up on uh, on the camera. But they change from gold to red to um, to this beautiful kind of dark purple colour to a really dark aubergine colour. But yes, there you go, the lovely little pieces. So, my friends, oh, thank you so much for joining me. Let's leave it with a few minutes uh, to go. Next up, it's the lovely Tassie from Taslima Maya Art. After her, it is the fantastic Wombat from Venom Fluid Art. And it's my number one fan, Creations by Christy. After Christy, we're going to Shan B Fluid Designs with Shannon. After that, it's Bubbles' fourth premiere. And then after Bubbles' fourth premiere, big excitement, fourth premiere. Uh, it is Tony the Hippy Dippy Painter Man, and that will end. He's the caboose on our Sunday Crazy Acrylic Train. So, my friends, again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to Vanna. Thank you to all the wonderful people in the live chat, not just the moderators and the admins. Buy art for Christmas presents. Yes, please, guys, support us and buy art for Christmas presents. It's a wonderful way to support your friends that have got rooms and rooms full of art. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much. Again, I love you all. And as always, happy pouring.